Welcome to Whoops in the Dungeon. We're going to continue our two-hand journey and our two-hand playlist. And, you know, if you followed my adult learning theory, uh, adults learn new skills quicker by relating them to skills they already own. And learning is an additive process. So every, if we're using consistent techniques between the different classes of Whoops, whether we're throwing two-hand floggers, uh, two-hand dragon tails, two-hand signal whips, two-hand bull whips. All of that practice is going to be additive, and we'll get to the end of the road quicker, which is, is being able to finesse two whips in contact play in the dungeon. We're just going to look at dragon tails today. Two-hand dragon tails, nice if you have a match set. These aren't exactly matched. The black dragon tail is a little bit heavier than the blue, but they're close enough. They're exactly the same length. They're close enough that I have been able to do two-hand work with them. The, the nice thing about them being a little bit mismatched is they are different weights. So if I'm playing with them, you're, I'm getting a variation of sensations just between the two dragon tails. So that first technique that we work with is off the shoulder. You can come off one shoulder and we're just going to look at some different patterns that you can do with dragon tails. You can come off the other shoulder, and I'm just using a, a thumb push. So I'm coming straight off the shoulder. The analogy I like to use with off the shoulder or over the shoulder is I pretend it's a two by four and I'm dragging the two by four off the shoulder. And when it gets toward the end of the length of my arm, I push it straight with a thumb push. You don't want to arc. You don't want this arc when you come off the shoulder. You want it to come straight off and end with a puff. So you can do alternating shoulders, right? If we can alternate, we could do together. So we could go at the same time. Okay. We can do horizontal. If we do horizontal, and I haven't been able to do separated timing or distributed timing, with horizontal, it seems like together timing, where they're landing at about the same time, uh, works the best for me. Uh, another tip that I will give you that works the best for me, you'll have to try it out yourself and see what works the best for you, is my non-dominant hand is my left hand, because I'm right-handed. Um, unless you're ambidextrous, at least for me, my non-dominant hand likes to be on the underside of horizontal uh, because the, the top side, I'm having to control uh, gravity and stall speed a little more finely than I do with the underside. So if I do that with my dominant hand, I'm controlling the stall speed and the drop of that dragon tail. Uh, I can do it easier with my dominant hand. At least that's my rationale for throwing it this way. So together timing, I'm doing fine with. Uh, you can do the forward figure eight. And distributed timing would be more like that. Staggered timing would be moving them closer together. You can hear the puff and the stagger moving closer together. And then together timing would be where they're landing and making almost one puff because they're landing at the same time. Okay. We can do, actually, we can go in the same direction and do a parallel pattern. Okay. Now we can do that two-handed. You saw me do a parallel pattern two-handed. I can do that if I'm using finger style, like I'm throwing finger style floggers, uh, I can grasp a, a, a handled flogger that way. I can also grasp a dragon tail that way. If I dra grasp two dragon tails together, then with one hand, I can throw parallel. You know, that's a little harder on the wrist. Uh, it's a little bit hard on the fingers to sustain that. So if you were going to do parallel, I would just do parallel with two hands. It's just a different pattern. And then you can go 
see if I can do this. This is four count Florentine. You can do a six count Florentine with the dragon tail. I have to think about it. I can't talk while I'm doing it. Uh, so six count is possible. If you spin poi and you're good at poi spinning and you're good with finger floggers, you probably will be much better than me with six count, uh, uh, six count dragon tail pattern. Uh, I personally prefer the four count pattern with dragon tails, but that's a me thing. As always, thanks for watching Wolfs in the Dungeon.